popped up on the infield. One-handed catch, going to be a double play. Ava Quigley over to Mia Simpson, two outs. Nice catch by Miss Quigley. And over to Simpson for the double up. What's happening right now for Chloe Kearns is her punch out pitch. Kearns striking out the side for the second time today. In every inning so far, Chloe Kearns has had a strikeout. Big strikeout there, two outs. Ten strikeouts in the game for Chloe Kearns. Big pitch here. Beautiful pitch by Chloe Kearns. 11th strikeout of the game. Long drive, double play. It converted into an Indiana double play out the catch by Curley. Will this pitch be the final one of the game or will Iowa prolong the inning? Toward the pitcher, throw to first. Game over. Play at first was ruled it out. The game is over, even though a tag was made at home place. Play on the field is ruled it out, which means the game is over, but it is being challenged. Now the question is going to be, was this an out at first? The ruling right now is an obstruction. Call against catcher Curtis. Safe at first. Obstruction at home which then would plate the second run. Now, obstruction cannot be challenged, and so we've got a tie game. All this on a comebacker to Duckworth. Head it to the gap. It's gonna win the game. Oh, it wins it, 3-2. What a comeback for Polk Little League. And what a hit by Riley Schmidt. Down to its last batter twice. Iowa wins the game three to two. This is punched back through the middle into center, and that's past the center fielder Bazelli, and going for extra bases for Bostic. And she's not stopping it too. Relay throw going to third, and that's wide. And here comes Bostic to the plate, and she touches them all in the first batter of the regional. Missouri with a loud start to lead it one to nothing. Well, unlike three of our previous four games, will be no shutout in this one. Hit to left center field and dropping. Heading to the fence. Mia McCombs around second. She's gonna stand up with a triple. She has the batter in a big hole and able to close it out again. And after that, Corey Kearns got angry. <laughs> Special K now has 11. For the third time today, Ms. Kearns strikes out the side. Another strikeout for Chloe Kearns. Well, have we said her name enough today, huh? She has now struck out six in a row. 15 Ks for the game. She has been amazing. To right field, extra bases. Roman around first and around second. And sliding in with a triple. First hit of the game for Indiana. And a good start to the second inning. Hit one in the gap against Chloe Kearns. And she's making contact here to right field. Maya Brogan with a catch. First ball swinging, two outs. Well, you make your fielders do their work. Popped up on the infield, actually headed to left field now. And a diving catch made by Platt in left field. Lindsey Platt. Battling what might have been a little bit of sun trying to come out here. A fine defensive play. And Indiana's outfield has been stellar. Hit the center field and deep. All the way to the fence. Runner heading around third will score. A stand-up triple for Brooklyn Jacobs. Towards center field. Perfect spot for Sophia Bazzelli, and now a chance for a double play, and got it! Wow! What a throw! First Bazzelli with a catch, and a spot-on throw. Delena Renner. To the pitcher, to home plate, need to tag her. Got her. Now a chance for a double play, and they got that! 
Gang tying him deep to left, and that ball is traveling all the way to the wall. Two more in to score for Missouri on a ball that's scalded by Gibson, and she's not stopping it too. She's got a triple. Missouri with a huge top of the second inning. And pushing ahead, 6 nothing. Elena 100% wants to be playing with this group of girls right now. And bump out in front of the plate, and fielded nicely by the catcher, Rudge. The throw out Ava Quigley. Nice bare hand play, all in one motion, smooth from Addie Rudge. And right back it turns, whoa! Bowed her head, reached up. A little four leaf clover. Getting out of the way and getting the outs. And a deep breath to take that all in for Chloe Kearns. Nice reflexes from the pitcher. And next pitch is swung on a miss for strike three. And swing and a miss. And Kearns with a strikeout to start the sixth. And that's a called strike three. So Kearns matches the nine strikeouts of Emma Davies. And goes soft for strike three. And a swing and a miss. Four in a row for Davies. And another strikeout for him. Payoff. Grounder back to Davies. And the Rocket has done it again with a complete game. And she launches Ohio into the semifinals of the winner's bracket. Off speed popped up. There's one out. There's two outs, double play. And now we go to the Iowa fifth, with Iowa leading nine to two. Toward right field, and dropping and caught. Nice play by Maya Brogan. They mentioned how good Indiana is defensively. Davies back with the one strike pitch. And it's served in the air out to right center field. Tough play for Rudiak, can't get there, and it falls in. Ellsworth around to score, and another double. Maybe not, she's going for three. Trim is in there safely. Enough with the doubles in this inning. Two doubles for her teammates, she wanted a triple, and she got it. Indiana's won all their games by one run. This is stroke tying the air to center field, and going all the way toward the fence for Lindsey Platt. She hits second base, ball still not to the infield yet, and she's got a stand-up triple. The ball's drilled right center field, maybe another extra base hit. That's all the way to the fence. Pegadis and Roman touch the plate, and Curtis thinking about three, and she is in there standing. Left field base hit. It's gonna score one. It's gonna score two. Going around second, heading for third, and she is safe! Six, nothing. Boys, Dobbs. Wow. How about that? Put it down the left field line. It's gonna score one. It's gonna score two. Emery Hagedis with a triple. Man, she just smoked that Monet. That is the hot corner. As did Aubrey Duckworth, who is at second base, who is the tying run. Headed to right field. Game over. Missouri wins it and is heading to Greenville, North Carolina.